Hi, and welcome to Studio in Quarantine. On this week's show, you will see a new Charger Challenge. And you'll see your favorite, Dog of the Week. And a new Trick Shot compilation. All of that and more, coming up next. Welcome to Studio Quarantine. I'm Cameron Yamas. And I'm Logan Bartles. This is the final regular Charger Challenge before the finale. This week's Charger Challenge is Kahoot. Then send it out to my boys Andy and Casey to see how the last Charger Challenge plays out. Welcome to the final week of Studio Quarantine Charger Challenges. I'm your host, Andy Newman. And I'm Casey Bain, and today we have five competitors playing Kahoot. All the win? The Studio Quarantine Cup, but we can't give them. You guys ready? All right, let's do this thing. My name's Dresden Ginder. I went to Cedar Canyon Elementary School, and I'm going to win today's challenge because I'm Studio 415's biggest fan. I'm Sean Hun from Oakview Elementary. I'm going to win this Charger Challenge because I drink the best. My name is Keegan Tracy. I went to Hickory Center Elementary School recently. Okay, recently because I went to other schools in the past. And I'm gonna win because my name means small fire. My name's Jordan. I graduated from Cedar Canyon Elementary and I'm going to win because I'm awesome at Kahoot. Uh, my name is Easy Golknine. I went to Parrot Hill and I'm gonna win because I got a dog on my head. It's proven that dogs make you smarter. Charger Challenge Trivia, baby. Are you ready? First question, including the season finale, how many weeks of Charger Challenge were there in season oh. one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm with 14. I'm trying 10. Oh, I lost. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who hosted season one, week one? Like, uh, I feel like it had to be Indy. What? Let's go! Ouch. Daniel the Root. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Who won the Studio 415 Cup oh, in Season 1's finale? Uh -huh. I think I know. Maybe. Yeah. No! Who have been other hosts of the Charger Challenge? Come on. This is why you should have watched this week's? Yeah, I did. I did. Oh, I know. I did. Oh, dang it. Let's go. There we go. Okay, I was close. <laughs> yeah, I knew you okay. but... This winner did not appear in the season one finale. Most Ooh, likely not. <laughs> How many different Studio 415 slash Quarantine Cups have there been? Oh, I got this. Is this obvious? Oh. I feel like it should be obvious. Uh, oh. Okay. okay. Oof. Oh, five. Studio 415 Cup, yeah. Studio 415 Cup 2, the Studio Quarantine Cup, the Studio 415 Cup 2 Red Solo Edition, and the Minecraft Edition Cup. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> oh. Mm. Who won the first ever Charger Challenge, week one? It's a 50 50 shot on this one. I think I did. No way. I think Going I did. with my goat, Preston Sawyer. Oh! <laughs> Other than Dan, Noah, Casey, Annie, what like, student has been on the most Charter Challenges? Probably Louie. Oh, I, did, I shouldn't have said that. Yes, it <laughs> definitely was Louie Frucci. And I'm not doing too hot. <laughs> I'm so hey, Sean, so on top. The first and last time all the Charger Challenge guys co-hosted a week was... This one's kind of difficult. Come on now. Oh, I think I know it. <laughs> Crap. Yeah. Wait, is it a picture? No! No, 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 no. Nobody got it. What grade level has appeared the most? Okay, come on, come on. Yeah, I got this one. Come on. Oh, no, oh, no, the picture. 
<gasps> Wait, Victor's receiving. Oh no, it's everyone. <laughs> Sean still in the lead. What was the last Turkish challenge to appear in the Studio 415 this year? In the actual Studio 415 show, not Studio Quarantine. Wait, I think I know it. That's the one you saw in school. Let's see. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. No one got that right. I... Kevin Dietrich competed in what episode of Charge Challenge is the only alumni challenger? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, goals, right? Uh. And a boy, Sean's still on top. Fifty oh, back no. for redemption. I'm gonna go with Snowy. I think I messed up. Oh, come on now. Who was the first senior to win the Studio 415 Cup? Um. <laughs> Sean. Oh. Go, Seth. I'm sorry, Seth. Who was the first contestant to win the Studio Quarantine Cup? Oh. Oh. What? No. I have oh. Let's go. I'm at four. Oops, ZZ's climbing. Who has not competed in the charging challenge? Not, or it says who it has. Who actually has? My bad. Ooh. Come on now. Wait. My bad. Okay, oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's I go. Two. We two. All right. Had a boy. It was a trick question. Sean and Dresden still climbing. Until today. And other finale. Who was the largest number of contestants to appear on the show? I didn't click the picture. But... Let's go. <laughs> Good. Who's the first female to win the studio 415 cap? Me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm losing. I know it. Yes. No! Yes! No! How's was my second? You got it right. Ooh! Yes! Oh. Easy. Back. Come on now. Wait. Oh, I remember this one. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. No! Oh. No! Oh. No! Season two, episode one, charades featured what winner? Come on now! Oh, I don't know. Please, please! Yes! Cups of the rose. Embarrassing. Ooh. Seven out of twenty got you third place. <laughs> Sean, eight out of twenty. Embarrassing. Dresden with half. That's got ridiculous. first place on this one, so Dresden is our winner this week. After the challenge, Dresden Ginder has won the Studio Quarantine Cup. She's calling in from her phone because her camera audio does not work. How do you feel? Feels great. I feel like I accomplished a goal of mine to win a Charger Challenge. <laughs> Other guys, how do you feel? I was robbed. I was robbed. I felt terrible. I had technical difficulties. I have no say. Yeah, I'm colorblind, so everything looks the same to me. <laughs> be like that sometimes. Charger Challenge. Next week, you're going to be seeing the season two finale of the Charger Challenge. We've been playing this thing the whole year. This is going to be bigger than anything we've done ever. Studio Quarantine, Studio 415, combined. combined. See you then, Carol. Senior year, probably the biggest year for us. It sucks not having a spring semester, especially um, for us seniors. We miss out on so much, but the biggest thing is how we respond. So we have to respond and make sure it's the best senior year we can make it. Studio quarantine reporter Daisy Macias tells us about how Carol was trying to make seniors feel as special as possible during quarantine. Last week, Carol students came to the student parking lot on Tuesday from 2 to 5 p.m. to receive their graduation items. Among these items were their caps, gowns, and National Honor Society stoles, which were distributed by Carol's teachers and administrators. Senior class co-sponsors Miranda Kuhn and Sherry Shade had responsibility for organizing this event to ensure operations went smoothly, as items were alphabetized and how students came during various times in a day to create a steady flow of cars. The event was met with few disruptions and allowed those helping to have short conversations with students. Kuhn believes that the opportunity to see her students during this time when face-to-face -face interaction is extremely limited was a great experience. A lot of the seniors, um, I have as like student helpers, so I don't really have them in like a normal class setting. So I haven't been able to see them at all. So it was awesome to see the kids and, and just even if it was through a car window, you know, just to be near them, I think is has been that's something I've been really miss I've been really missing. So 
Kuhn and Shade also encourage other teachers to come out to the distribution for a chance to say their goodbyes and congratulations to their students. In addition to this, parents and other faculty cheered the class of 2020 on for their accomplishments as the students pulled into the parking lot. Although this graduating class is experiencing quite the opposite of what they aspired their senior year to be, Kuhn reminds these seniors on the importance of keeping a positive outlook. You still enjoy the moment and like, be proud of yourself. Like it's a big accomplishment, you know, to be graduating high school. And even though it's in a different setting, like I think this is the time that they're, that, that kids will look back on. So just, just enjoy it and, and be proud and yeah, live in the moment, I guess. <laughs> For Studio Quarantine, I'm Daisy Macias. It's back. Our next video is your favorite, the dog of the week. Let's send out to Kat Hamrick as she introduces Louis Linguini Zamperini. This week's dog of the week is Louis Linguini Zamperini. He is a six-year-old Chihuahua and wiener dog mix, also known as a Chihuini. Louis enjoys sleeping and barking at any person he sees, even if they literally live with him. Louis's best talents are quivering with fear and sometimes catching cheese. He doesn't like toys, but he does like to try and eat his sister's catnip. Louis's favorite treat is pork chomps bacon flavored rawhides. So if you ever catch a glimpse of this terrified good boy, be sure to congratulate him on being this week's Dog of the Week. After many attempts, students have put together a trick shot video out of boredom and quarantine. Let's see who has the best trick shot in Carol. Comment down below and who you think had the best shot. This case band is a splashy bucket. I'm not getting tired. First try. Go, B. When you're too lazy to take out the trash. That's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. Tune in next Thursday for the final studio quarantine of the year. For all of us here at Studio Quarantine, have a great week, Carol. <laughs>